G'day mate, it's Dave from Down Under here. Just thought I'd pop in here to Elkhart and we're outside, we've got a beautiful day out here today and what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through the TPMSs, right? Tire Pressure Monitoring Systems. So what we've got to do here is we're going to go through what the pairing process, what the installation process looks like and then we're going to give you a little bit of a lesson on how to pair them actually onto the phone. Alright, so let's dive in first to how they're going to arrive when you pick up your RV. You're going to get a little packet like this and it depends whether you're going to have a double axle or a triple axle as to how many TPMSs you've got. Now the beauty is those great guys in the Jayco factory have actually already paired them for you. Now as long as you can read left to right and you're not from down under where we do things the other way around, then you'll be fine. So left to right, top left, so there's even an arrow on the package. You just face that forward towards where your hitch point is and then you've got left, right and the right right and left back again for the rear, okay? So they're pretty simple. In the bottom here, you might be wondering, what's this little plastic bag? That's the extras. It's the six set of free steak knives you always get. It's the extra offer. No, not really. Couple of spare parts, couple of installation parts, and I'll talk you through them right now. So let's get those out. All right, so I've dumped all the contents of our little plastic package, put that in my pocket. Hang on to that. Now we're gonna need that in a minute. Now there's a few extra pieces here, so I don't wanna confuse you too much. For installation, you're going to need the little spanner there, or wrench, I'm not sure what you guys call it over here. That little shifter there is going to put on our locking nuts. Now this pack here that I had has only got two in there, and we've got two locking nuts. Get rid of that little rubber bit in there. Now we'll get rid of that in a minute. They're not required. So these little rubber seals, the large ones and the small ones, they're just required as extra parts, uh, as spare parts on the actual TPMS. Don't need to worry about that at the moment. You might be wondering what this big lid contraption is. This is an unlocking device, which I'll show you in a minute in the troubleshooting section on how to take the top off the TPMS when it's in your hand, not installed on the wheel, and actually change the battery out. So for the sake of the installation, we're gonna put our first one on now. This is actually all we need. We need these two bits here, and in my other pocket, I need three hands, but in my other pocket, I've got a TPMS. Let's zoom in on this big uh, Goodyear wheel we've got in under here on the Jayco, and we'll have a look at how we actually attach them. All right, so here we are at our tire, ready to go. We're going to install one of our TPMSs. I'll show you what this looks like in an app, but the physical installation is such. Let's take our little dust cap off there. You want to make sure there's no dust or anything in and around that valve in there, but normally if they've got a dust cap on, obviously they're pretty good. All right, first thing is put a locking nut on. Righty tidy. You don't know what that means. That means turn it clockwise and it'll go on. Now you don't have to lock it at the back and I'll show you why in just a sec. Now we're going to take our TPMS. There we go. We're going to screw that onto there. Nice and easy again. Righty tight. Oh, you can hear that air pressure. As soon as you hear that air pressure, just get it on quickly. All right. So get it on pretty tight with your fingers. Don't over wrench it. You know, don't break it. Don't have to, don't have to kill it there. All right. So you can see there we've got a little bit of a gap on our locking nut, and that's just running free at the moment. Now, this is what we do. We go back the other way. So lefty loosey. Well, we're actually going to make it tight, but. I'm going to put that into the back of that. We're going to get our little shifter, a little wrench, a little spanner. It's a little bit awkward. I'm just going to pull that valve down like that. And I'm going to tighten that. So the TPMS went on clockwise, nice and tight. Leave a, leave a, you know, an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch at the back there. And then bring the nut back into the TPMS. Now that's in nice and solid. Let's give it another little nip up. There we go. There we go. We've just installed one of our TPMSs. All right, I'm gonna go and grab a phone now, and we've just actually paired one by default, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the phone. Then we'll put another TPMS on whilst we're showing what it looks like on the phone, so you can see how it works. Then I'm gonna jump in the truck, and you're gonna see on the phone, all of the TPMS is connected, so whilst I'm driving along, I can monitor the pressure of my, my tires. See you in a minute. All right, so here we are with my wonderful assistant. She's gonna hold the phone for me, and we're gonna show you through that pairing process that I just described before. So first step, let's press pair. There we go. And now I'm just gonna wind that TPMS on so when you hear that little air escaping, that'll be your telltale sign that it's gonna start the pairing process. So now you can see that one's come up. It's telling us it's a bit flat, but for the sake of the demonstration, we're just trying to show you. So what you're looking for is you listen for that little whisper of air coming out. So firstly, you press the pair button, screw it on to the right, You'll hear that little bit of air sound and you should get your measurement up there straight away on the screen. 
All right, how's that? Now I'm going to rig up the next four on this truck. Next three, still can't count. Next three on this truck, and then we're going to jump on this RV. Then we're going to jump into the truck, and I'll show you what it looks like on my dashboard. So I've just put the TPMSs on. They're on our RV right behind me. Now I'm going to be able to set, put it in the cradle, be able to see everything from a dash while I'm driving along. So if there was a problem, not that I'm expecting it with Goodyear tyres, we're going to see it up here on the phone. All right, let's put it in the cradle. Good, safe driving. Don't touch your phone while you're driving. All right, there we go. Get myself ready. Okay, I'm on the right screen. And away we go. We're good to go.